What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to a special edition unboxing video. I apologize, I took the weekend off and it was lovely. I went and saw Avengers Infinity Wars again. I always say Infinity Wars, Infinity War, and I liked it actually more than I liked it the first time, because you guys know that it, well, it takes me like three times to watch a movie before I'm really like, wow! So I really enjoyed that, and then I just kind of slept and hung out with my family all weekend. It was Mother's Day yesterday, so happy uh, belated Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. I'm really excited to open this. I have so many boxes. I organized all my boxes yesterday so I could prepare to get them out to you and start filming a lot more. But I have this box that came in, and I'm pretty excited about this. I bought this a while ago, probably a few weeks ago. Let me just give a little bit of backstory. I know you guys don't like when I talk, but I'm going to talk right now. This is a box from Toy Tokyo. I purchased, they, they had um, these like Funko Pop mystery boxes on sale, and I saw these boxes on a couple of other YouTubers' channels. But here's the thing. It's supposed to be this like really cool thing because they have the opportunity to get really like intense chase figures. And of course, all of the people that I watched on YouTube that reviewed this box, they all got chase figures, but they also got the boxes sent to them for free from Toy Tokyo. So, I thought it would be fun to actually purchase the boxes and see, is there really a chance to get chase figures? Like, is that really a thing? Or are they just, you know, you guys know sometimes companies who send boxes for free, they pack the boxes full of things that you don't normally get. And I've had that happen to me a couple times, to be honest. You guys have done a good job of calling the company out when it feels like my box is like way better than everyone else's and I appreciate that because the whole point of my channel is to open boxes and for things to be honest and not for things to I don't want to trick anybody right so I don't want Toy Tokyo to send me a bunch of boxes that have all chase figures and then you guys buy them and then there's really not that chance. Now it's all a treasure hunt so there's a chance that there might be a chase figure in here and I actually wanted to give you, so let me give you some pricing information. I don't think they're still available but just so you guys know, I ended up getting three of these. So there's their Funko Mystery Boxes. I actually have no idea. I think, each, I think each comes with three Funko Pops. Each of these costs $29.99 but I did have to pay $32.65 total for shipping, which means that each box was basically about $40.87. So $40.87 for three Funko Pops. In general, that's not terrible, especially if you get any kind of chase or exclusive figure, but again, I don't really know what the chances are. They had all these like breakdowns of like letters and stuff, like combinations, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I thought it would be fun to buy these. I did buy these under my own name, so uh, I'm assuming that they wouldn't have known that this was for my channel. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of jump into it, shall we? It was funny because when I was watching other YouTubers' videos on these boxes, I was like, are people like really thinking that this is the normal, like, that everyone's gonna get chase figures? And I, it was fun reading the comments and seeing like some people like, wow, you're so lucky. And then some people were like, okay, clearly they packed that box for you. And then it just made me even more intrigued. Like, ooh, I wonder what the norm is. Like, I bet you these are gonna be three like super basic common pops which will make this even more interesting, I suppose. All right, once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Now, it's odd, I have a box, and then I have pops right here. So I, again, I got three boxes. I guess they don't put them all in a box, I suppose. I'm not quite sure. I've never purchased from Toy Tokyo. This is my first time. Okay, well, we did get a limited edition something, so that's fun. All right, I'm gonna assume that this is like the first box. I'm just gonna pull out the three pops that are in bubble wrap. So the first pop that we got is a Mega Man Thunder Beam. And this is a Toy Tokyo exclusive. Now Toy Tokyo, aren't they from New York? Is this the company that's from New York? New Jersey, yeah. So I think Toy Tokyo is from New York. I have watched a couple of videos of people pop hunting there. It looks like a cool store. I, if I ever go to New York, I guess I'll check it out. So we got, what do we get? Mega Man Thunder Beam. And this is a Toy Tokyo exclusive. Why is it pork? It's, it's focusing on the pork. Come on, pork. Get out of here. So here it is. And here's the side view. 
and then here's the set that it comes from. Now this box, I will be 100% honest and say that it didn't come in the best condition, which kind of sucks. Um, it's not terrible, it's just not, there's a, like some divots here, the corners are a little bit bent, but it's not awful. And I just brought all of my pop protectors home, so I, I boxed some of these up, so I'll make sure I box this one up after the video. Okay, cool, so we got a chase, or it's not a chase, I'm sorry, it's a an exclusive. So we got an exclusive. I'm assuming these other two will not be exclusive. The next pop that we got is, it's a Guardians pop, and it looks like it's of Star-Lord. So we have Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, and I believe this is from the first movie. Yes, not the second movie. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Sorry, I moved my camera around a little bit, so I feel like the lighting's not as good. Let's see. Let me just, whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh, oh. whoop. How is that? A little bit better? Kind of. Okay, so this is Star-Lord and he's holding his like guns to the side. Got his little mask on. I don't like Star-Lord. I've actually never really been a fan of Star-Lord. But I almost, this movie made me like dislike him even more. This box is okay. There's um, some pretty bad divots on this corner right here. And there's actually some creases and stuff all over the place. But I think this is a pretty common pop, so nothing crazy. Okay, so then the third, oh, wait. See, now I'm confused on if this is considered one box, one box, or if this is like all of the good pops that I potentially could have gotten from all three, because then there's this box that's in the box. So um, I'm excited for this so hard, you guys. This is cool. Okay, so I don't know what this is an exclusive from. This is a GTS distribution exclusive. I have never heard of them. But this is like a paint your own Bob Ross. <laughs> which is pretty amazing. I haven't gotten into painting pops, although I have been thinking about it because I thought it'd be cool to make some cool like custom pops, although I'm not the most creative person in the world. But this is a Bob Ross pop that's just all white, and then you can paint and design however it is that you want to paint and design him. Here are some examples on the back. Some rainbow hair. Now, what I'd be interested in is, is this like a prototype, or did they just take a Bob Ross pop and paint him white? I'm not really quite sure, but that is actually really cool. I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, I've seen the ones that you can buy from Funko that are just like, the they're just blank pops, but I've never seen one based off of a character like this. And this one came in excellent condition, so that's very nice. Okay, cool. So again, I don't know if this is considered one box, but for $40, uh, I'm not too disappointed with this. I don't know what the pricing of these are, but we'll check it out on online in a second. Okay, so now I'm interested because this is the other box that came. So there should be six pops in here, which, yeah, this holds six pops. Now, I don't know if this is just gonna be a box of six common pops or if this is gonna be like, it's hard to tell, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if these are all the good pops from each of the boxes. I don't know. Let's be really, really careful when we open this so we don't, I don't wanna cut anything. That's the worst. Okay. So once you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Now these look pretty average. So maybe these were all the fancy pops from the average pops, I guess. I don't really know. Let's check it out. How do we get these out of here? Let's do this one side first. Okay, the first pop we got. Oh, we got another Toy Tokyo exclusive. Okay, this is Space Ghost. I really like this one. This reminds me of the uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers set that was a GameStop exclusive and they were like clear with like sparkles. That's similar to what this guy is, although I think his head is like doubled. I'm not really quite sure. So this is a Toy Tokyo exclusive. This one came in in pretty good condition. Can't complain too much. I don't know how many exclusives, maybe Toy Tokyo exclusives aren't really that valuable. I'm not quite sure. The little flap here is creased. The flap is creased and I didn't even grease it. Um, yeah, I don't know if Toy Tokyo just has like a ton of different exclusives, but for me it's neat because I don't obviously own a lot of Toy Tokyo exclusives. I think these are the first ones that I've ever gotten. I'm going to keep just going down the row and I'm going to say that that's one box because I don't really know how to do this. Okay, next we have, oh, this is cool. I love Spider-Man Hulk Hogan. I was just thinking if somebody were to ask me what are your favorite Marvel movies, and it's just probably because I recently saw these, but I'd probably have to say Thor Ragnarok and Spider-Man Homecoming. I absolutely love 
Um, I love Tom Holland in Spider-Man, and I love the humor in Thor Ragnarok, but this is Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming, which I'm excited about, because, again, I really, really, really enjoyed that movie a, a lot, like a lot, a lot. That was probably, uh, like, hands down, that was my favorite Spider-Man movie. I connect with Tom Holland more than I connect with Andrew Garfield and, uh, what's the other guy's name? The other guy. You know, the main guy. The main guy. Tobey Maguire, whatever his name is. Oh, no. Ugh. Stop it. The camera literally just wants to focus on Porg. Okay. And then the last pop from that box is a Zootopia pop. This is Nick Wilde. So that's a pretty, pretty common pop, nothing too crazy. There it is, there it is. We've actually gotten a lot of Zootopia pops. Oh my god, oh my gosh. The lighting, I'm not quite sure what's cracking with my lighting. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Okay, now let's do box number three. First um, pop that we got is Iron Spidey. This is regular Iron Spidey from the new movie, Infinity War, which is cool. I think I'm probably gonna end up collecting this set, to be honest, because, I don't know, it just seems like something that I'm gonna end up doing. I already have a lot of these pops, too, so I guess that makes sense. I have the Iron Spidey, but the box lunch exclu exclusive back there where he doesn't have his mask on, which is cool too. Okay, so that's the first pop for box number one. The second pop that we got is a damaged Ryu. Just a regular Ryu. The corner's pretty damaged on this box. I could tell from the top. Uh, nothing too fancy with him. He's just pretty basic. Basic, basic, basic. And then the last pop that we got Okay, we got a PX Previews exclusive. That just means that usually these pops come out a little bit earlier. This is from Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, and this is Carrie Kelly Robin. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is like an exclusive. Usually the, like, Hot Topic has done preview pops, and that just means that they come out a little bit earlier. I don't know if that really makes them that much fancier than regular, to be honest, but there you go. Okay, so that's all the pops I got. Like I said, I bought three boxes, and after shipping, uh, right before shipping, it was thirty dollars a box. After shipping, it turned out to be about forty dollars a box. Um, so here's what I want to do. First of all, I hope that this is more of an actual potential. If you were just a regular person buying these boxes, of what you would potentially get, um, because like I said, when I watched a lot of the YouTubers who were unboxing these, who you could tell they they got them sent to them for free, it was like okay, they would get some like chase that was worth like a hundred dollars, and it's like okay, clearly there's a little bit of you know er, er, going on, but. I don't know why I did that. But let's go ahead and price these out and see kind of what an average, hopefully an average person would get. Uh, I'm gonna do the last box first because I think that was probably the least valuable one and then we'll kind of go backwards, I guess. To figure out pricing, I'm gonna look up two things. I'm gonna look up Amazon and I'm gonna look up eBay. eBay is more for the exclusive pops because usually Amazon has good um, common pops and they're pretty cheap but the exclusive sometimes go for a little bit more on Amazon. I still need to get the, I still need to get this one, the homemade suit one. I really want that one a lot. I think that one's really good. Okay, what are we looking for? Oh, Iron Spidey. I put Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay, here we go. So box number one, I should write this down, but box number one, the first pop, which is the Spider-Man pop, that is gonna get $8.78, so we'll give it $9. And now I usually give pops $10, just like my normal price point, but because this box is specific to just pops, I'm gonna go ahead and actually look these up because I think that's gonna give us a real, a real, like, legitimate viewpoint of how much these boxes are worth and if they're really worth it. Okay, this Ryu pop, why is this one so expensive? I guess, I don't know, is this not a common pop? It's not really popping up anywhere. Let me uh, look on eBay. Oh, this is a Pop Asia, that's why it's a little bit more. Okay, so this does have a little bit more value because it's a Pop Asia pop. Let me see, you can only bid on it, let me see what it's sold for. That's cool. Oh, there's some like intense J chase one that's like all gold that's like going for a ton. Okay, so this one is 
basically selling for about $13. $12 to $13, I would say. Let's go with $12. We'll go on the lowest end that we can find it for. So $12, which isn't bad because like I said, I usually price pops at $10. So that got a couple more dollars. And then the last pop we got is the Batman, the Dark Knight Returns, Carrie Kelly Robin, and that's a PX ex preview exclusive. It's fairly cheap on eBay. Let me check Amazon. Okay. So, ooh, on Amazon, it's fairly cheap. It's, uh, do they spell her name wrong? I'm kind of confused because everywhere I search, it's K-E-L-L-Y, but on this box, it says K-E-L-L-E-Y. So I don't know if that is a big deal or not, but this is going for $9 online. Okay, so according to my pricing for box number one, and actually, you know, to be honest, I just pulled them out a certain way. I don't know if that's how it was meant to. I thought they were going to come in separate boxes, which would have been more fun. But based off of these three, it was worth $30. So I paid $30, but I had to pay $10 shipping, so technically we didn't hit our value by $10. That just means, and that's, I think that's, in, in boxes like this, that's the chance that you take is, obviously if you got a Chase figure or a really expensive exclusive, then it would increase that price point. So I'm not really surprised that this didn't hit its value. I wish that we got four pops for $40, you know, because like I said, the regular price is about $10 a pop, and that would mean at least no matter what, you would hit your value, but the whole point is that it's supposed to be like a treasure hunt, so I get it. I totally get it. Let's do box number two and see what this one's worth. Um, the first pop I'm going to look up is the Toy Tokyo exclusive Space Ghost. It doesn't look like this one's going to be too crazy as an exclusive, but it's definitely more than 10 So I would say that this is definitely worth at least 20 let me take a look at if there's any buy it now. You can you can buy it now for 25, but I think if you were to put some bids in, you could easily get this for 20 because that's how much some people did get it for. So I'd say 20 to 25 dollars. We'll stay on the low end since this box is from Toy Tokyo. We're gonna give it 20 dollars. Um, we had our vulture. I can't imagine that that's going for too much. These the next two pops are pretty um, common. So let's see the vulture. God, this one's only seven dollars. Okay, I wish this is even cheaper. Oh, actually, this one's even more expensive. This one's nine twenty-three, so we'll give it we'll give it uh, nine fifty. Okay, so this box definitely did better because I got the Toy Tokyo exclusive. This box was worth thirty-six fifty. It still didn't hit the value of the forty dollars that we ended up having to pay for this box with all the shipping, but it was definitely better than this box. And I could have easily figured that out because of the exclusive pop. Specifically, exclusives usually go for a little bit more, especially Toy Tokyo exclusives that aren't as easy to obtain like a Hot Topic exclusive or, you know, a, a Walmart exclusive. Okay, the last box that we have is this one. I feel like this one might get the best value out of all of them only because there's two exclusives instead of the other ones which basically only had one exclusive. Um, but let's check it out. So what do we say? $36.50. So $30 and we'll say uh, $37. I don't know if I'm going to remember that. So this one, let's see. Star Lord Pop is probably pretty basic. Let's see. All right. This pop is... Why is it so expensive? Is this, an, is this a fancy one? Now the one of him wearing regular clothes is only going for $7. But this one on Amazon is going for $27.98. That's really high. Let's take a look at eBay. Okay, surprisingly, this pop on Amazon is really expensive. Don't buy it on Amazon, but on eBay, you can get this for about $11. So we're gonna go with 11. Let's do this Bob Ross um, GTS exclusive. Okay, you can get this pretty cheap. I would say the cheapest that I can see what it's been sold for is about $12. So that's cool. We're going to go ahead and give that 12. And then the last pop that we're going to look up is the Mega Man to Toy Tokyo exclusive, which I feel like should have decent value. I don't know if it'll have as much value as the, what was the other one that we got? The like Space Ghost? Yeah, not a, not a whole lot of, well, let me see. All right, this has sold for $20. So it's actually very similar to the to the Space Ghost. Ow. So we'll give that $20, which means this box got $43 worth of value. All right. As I predicted, the first box that we opened had 43 and that was the best. Then it went 37 and then it went 30. So definitely the first box had decent value. Now, 
is this something that you'd want to get? If you're just a random pop collector and you like getting these mystery boxes with the opportunity to get Chase figures, I think this is a good option for you. $40 for a set of three pops isn't the best. I would definitely say you might be better off waiting for the, the collector case popped cases, um, the like the better condition ones, because I think that those ones have a better opportunity of getting a Chase pop. There aren't too many random mystery pop boxes out there that really where you really feel like you have the opportunity to get Chase Pops or exclusives or limited editions. So I like Toy Tokyo because I know in general their store has the, like they have a lot of like really fancy pops. So I feel like them putting these mystery boxes together will have a higher opportunity of getting Chase figures and, and limited edition ones. If you are on the hunt just for Chase figures, I don't, I think, honestly, I would say your best bet is more so to just go to Entertainment Earth and buy a set of six. Now apparently that's not a guarantee, but every time I've ever went to Entertainment Earth and bought six pops of a pop that has a chase, I always get one chase. And so it just depends on kind of what it is that you're looking for. If you just like getting random chases, then this might be a good option because it's like, surprise, you got a chase. Or surprise, you got a, an exclusive. Um, we didn't get any chase figures. And this does tell me though, because I, like I said, the ones that I watched on YouTube where they, they sent the YouTubers the boxes, all of them got really fancy chases and I'm like, okay, that is not real. So this hopefully will give you a better understanding of more common pops that you're going to get as just a person receiving these boxes. But you know, they weren't terrible. The first box was, or the, the last box that I opened wasn't that great. But, but the first and the second ones are, are pretty okay. And you know, we basically got our value back, so that's cool. Um, the first, the, the, the one that was only $30, that one was a little bit disappointing for sure. All right guys, I, I'm not gonna rate these, but overall, not terrible. It wasn't as bad as I, I would thought we were gonna get in all three boxes just like common pops. And then I was gonna be like, okay, that's really a joke. Like obviously it's not a great deal, but we did get some exclusives, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the value is, um, for two out of three boxes, it was pretty close to what we paid for, so that's good. Again, it was pretty close to what we paid for. It didn't get any extra value, but there's that, that chance. The whole point of these boxes are the treasure hunting aspect and the chance to potentially get a Chase Pop, which could be worth 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 dollars You know, you just never know. So I'm happy with that. It's all a treasure hunt for me and I enjoy things like that. So for me, it's cool. It was worth the risk. And I think we came out pretty okay, which is cool too. All right, guys, I apologize. This video was extremely long, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about the Toy Tokyo mystery pop boxes. I, I don't think they're still available, but they do come up every so often. So I'll try to keep an eye out, but I will link the Toy Tokyo website uh, down below in the description. They have some pretty cool things. I'm not going to lie. Like I've never really gone to their website and I was pretty intrigued when I ended up going like, wow, this is cool. So definitely check it out if you want to. I don't remember where I was. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Do you think it was worth it? Did anyone else buy the Toy Tokyo mystery boxes? And if you did, what three pops did you get? I'm trying to get a better idea overall of like the types of pops that people usually get in these things. So if you bought one and you got a chase, let me know what it was. I'd love to like just hear what came in these boxes normally and I'll watch some more videos as well. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out's gonna go to William Ware. William Ware, you're gonna get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. You just commented like, I don't know when you did this, uh, last night on one of my Funko Pop videos and you were like, yay, Pops. So I figured this would be a really great video to give you a video shout out because I just opened a bunch of Pops and you seem to like Pops. So William Ware, you get the video shout out. Shout out to you, William Ware. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.